Hello all, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will look into how to authenticate our c -sharp applications for Google Cloud Platform. So to use uh, the new c -sharp libraries or to use uh, Google ASP.NET MVC applications uh, with Google Cloud Platform, very first we need to have our own application authenticated for the access now google use authentication protocol as auth 2.0 so if you are building an application that is if you are using an google cloud platform infrastructure as its platform we need to authorize our application to our own google project so let's see this with an example let's create one Google ASP.NET application. For this, you need to have an account uh, for Google Cloud on Google Cloud Platform with the uh, Google Cloud Shell installed in your machine. Let's select this template. Provide this as name my GCP app. Okay. Select the project for entering the project ID. So this will create a basic MVC application structure. Let's run this. So when it gets built and when it's get started you will notice an error this one let's continue to read it so you get an application default credential not available so for this to fix this issue we need to have our application authorized first so to fix this the most recommended and the simplest option is to leverage Google default application credentials. The preferred method for authentication your application is to leverage a Google application default credentials via the G Cloud utility. Now this G Cloud utility is a part of uh, Google Cloud SDK. So when you are installing the SDK in your machine, please make sure that you check a box uh, wherein it prompts uh, that uh, about a beta component if you have not checked that box during the installation no worries about it we can still install it through Google SDK now make sure you open this uh, Google Cloud SDK shell as run as administrator so for installing the beta component run this command it's G Cloud Components install beta. Now, as my machine, uh, as I've already installed this beta component into my machine, it says that all components are up, up to date. Or else, if it is not, then it will prompt you in another window and uh, will ask you for a permission like yes or no. Just follow the instructions and, I will, and it will be installed. So now let's start uh, with authorizing our application. So the very first command we need to run is start with G Cloud Beta Auth Application hyphen Default Login. Now this will open a browser uh, with the um, for the authentication process okay so now log in with the google credential associated with your project for my for my uh, this is uh, my account which is being associated let's select this account and click on allow great so the authentication is done so now this is done by downloading a file uh, with the associated credentials uh, to your machine. 
Now it's very important to understand that uh, this authorizes your entire machine to access your projects via the credential you authorize. And the best thing is that uh, as new projects are added or uh, uh, updated, the, this credentials are uh, credentials automatically grant access. Like you don't have to run this utility again and again. So now our machine is authorized to call uh, uh, the Google Cloud. So now let's again go to the application and run it once again. Great. So now as the authorization and authentication is done, our application is running perfectly fine. Earlier there was an error and after authorizing it with the default default credentials, the application is running perfectly fine. Now uh, many of us has an uh, thought like uh, why to authorize uh, with this credential and all. So no need to worry about this once you have done with your project work or uh, once you are done with everything you can also revoke uh, this default credentials uh, but before this uh, let me tell you there are uh, two significant advantages for this setup to be done like uh, very first uh, you don't have to uh, like uh, being a concern about your check-ins uh, important secret files to the source control or uh, any uh, configuration data as such because they are stored in your local machine and the second best advantage is both the Google App Engine and Google Cloud Engine are already configured to use the same credentials. So if you are deploying your application to either of the services, your app will just work without having to manage config files or setting for uh, different environments or so. So now let's see like how to uh, revoke your default, default credentials. So the steps is very simple. Just go to your cloud shell again and run a command. Just change this login with revoke. So that now the command would be gcloud beta auth application default revoke. You're about to revoke. Type yes. Why? Okay. Credentials are revoked. Now let's run it again. So we have now revoked our credential. So again, we got an error of default application default credential. So in this video, we saw how to solve an error of application default credential and how to set up our leverage and uh, the cloud Google Cloud platform with our C Sharp applications or Google MVC applications. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like this. Uh, kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you.